I knew the minute I wrote it that I had something. I'm a Hemingway kind of guy. I knew I had a big one on the line. It's the best song for any sport in the world. Let me go back 30 years. I was in New York, uh, and an old friend of mine, Armin Kutayan, I was staying at his apartment, and I said to Armin, who was writing for Sports Illustrated at the time, hey man, I, I, I wrote a song about basketball, and I, I think I really got it. And I said, well, if you ever record it, um, send it to me. I recorded it in the fall of 86, I just stuck it in an envelope and sent it to him. So this cassette shows up in the mail, and I listened to it. And uh, I got chills listening to it. I said to him, I said, Dave, I think this is incredible. It's a terrific anthem for college basketball. And the uh, Harmon took it over to CBS. Imagine my surprise when Doug Toohey, the creative director at CBS, calls me. He said, we've fallen in love with this song, and we'd like to use it here at CBS Sports. How about the Super Bowl? I was, of course, shocked, and happily so. For the New York Giants, their first Super Bowl trial. When CBS presented Super Bowl XXI, and when all the fanfare had quieted down, the idea was that CBS was going to then roll in this music piece. Hold on, everybody. One shining moment never made the air that day. You know, they went long in, in the broadcast. When it wasn't there, needless to say, I was disappointed. Two, three weeks later, Doug Toohey called me again and said, look, Dave, we, we love this song. We have the tournament coming up, and we think it'd be a perfect fit. What do you think? Sure, Doug, that's a great idea. In 1987, we watched the game, which was an unbelievable game. Smart takes the shot. Then the game ends, and then they break into one shining moment. I thought, exactly. <laughs> That's it. It was cinematic. It captured everything that I had in mind when I wrote it. One shining moment this many years later, how vital and how important it is and how it's part of the lifeblood of this event and how every kid who takes this stage knows the song, knows the lyrics, knows what it means, dreams of stepping foot on that platform come Monday night and that song's really being played for them, it's being dedicated to them. You know, every once in a while you get a song that there are no fault lines to, that just all fits together and this was one of them. Blue Devils are the national champions of 2015.